Put simply, cloud computing is the on-demand delivery of computer resources over the internet. In particular, data storage and computing power. Cloud computing enables software and storage to be provided off-premises on remote servers, which in most cases are maintained in third-party data centers. Typically, on-site servers and data centers require significant initial capital investment and ongoing maintenance. And so the pay-as-you-go cloud model dramatically reduces the costs in comparison to traditional IT infrastructure and makes it a practical option, even for small businesses. In addition to cost, there are a number of other benefits to the cloud computing, including the ability for multiple users to access and work on the same data simultaneously and from any location, as well as improved performance as a result of having access to a large network of data centers with the latest hardware, which helps to reduce lag when running applications. Further, the cloud is elastic, meaning that organizations have the ability to quickly scale up or reduce the amount of resources they need. For example, more or less storage or bandwidth. Cloud providers have also been quick to recognize concerns in relation to security and reliability. Generally, cloud providers offer a range of technologies and controls to protect customer data from potential threats and operate state-of-the-art secure facilities. Cloud computing also makes data backup, disaster recovery and business continuity easier and less expensive because data can be mirrored at multiple redundant sites on the cloud provider's network. A few different cloud models have evolved to meet the rapidly changing technology needs of organisations. The first and most common type of cloud deployment is public cloud, where the cloud resources are owned and operated by a third-party cloud service provider, such as Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, or Google Cloud. Public cloud is a multi-tenant environment, meaning that organisations share the same hardware, storage, and network devices. Each tenant accesses the cloud services and manages their account via the internet using a web browser. The next is private cloud. The key difference is that in a private cloud, the services are always maintained on a private network and the hardware and software are dedicated solely to that organisation. In this way, a private cloud makes it easier for organisations to customise its cloud resources to meet its specific requirements. Private clouds are often used by government agencies and financial institutions with business critical operations where access to the underlying infrastructure and data may need to be tightly controlled. The final model is hybrid cloud, which as you would expect, combines either on-premises infrastructure with either a private or public cloud. Many organisations use on-premise technology in order to satisfy regulatory and data sovereignty requirements, whilst at the same time flexibly using the cloud when demand fluctuates. Organisations often use hybrid cloud to handle short-term spikes, but without giving third parties access to their sensitive data.